Well, what JWB does is we realized early on that there was a need for uh, an asset class like rental properties to, to, to fill that pocket of money that people need to have to be consistent, right? Because a lot of people have money in the stock market, but it's not consistent in the stock market. And it's not, it's not that you can't earn a, a decent return over time in the stock market because you can, it's whatever, seven, eight percent over time, but it's the ups and downs is what people, uh, you know, can't stomach. And that's what really hurts people. Um, and so we, we knew that for ourselves. And that's why I started to own rental properties 13 years ago, right when we were starting to, to learn how to flip houses, it was all about building this rental property portfolio. Cause I, cause I knew it was going to be consistent income. And that was really important to me. Uh, the, the problem with rental properties has always been how passive can it be? How, you know, how many late nights do I have to have being a landlord, answering phone calls, all that other stuff. And sure, the easy answer is, oh, well, you just get a property manager, but that doesn't really work because historically, property management companies and owners of rental properties haven't really had their goals aligned, you know, because mm, there's a lot of way okay. for property management companies to, you know, quote unquote, keep us rented, but, they're, but, but it's not delivering a return on investment for their owners. So... What JWB does is basically we have everything under one roof. We have everything in-house, meaning the same person that you buy your turnkey rental property from is the same person who's responsible for collecting the rent on it, in a sense. Obviously, we have over 80 people at JWB, but it's that same mentality where there's no, nowhere to run and hide, right? If we sell you a property and tell you to earn a, you're going to earn a 7% return on investment or 8% return on investment, uh, we can't push pass the buck to another property management company when the house isn't rented, <laughs> you know, and, and if we, okay. if, right, right. If, if we wouldn't, you know, deliver the, the rate of return, it's all on us. And that's, that's what we, that's what we love. And I think that's, what's been missing from the typical way for people to buy rental properties. They have to go out and find all these different teammates. It takes a lot of time to do that. And even when you do that, all these teammates have different agendas and they have different mm -hmm. goals. And so, yeah, to, to sum it all up, what, what we do, what we aim to do is to really create this passive experience for you because everything is under one roof and there's the same marching orders, the same expectations from the beginning of your investment to the end of the investment. You know what I mean? Okay. Yep. Now, that's interesting that you say about the whole not aligned thing because you're, I guess you're sort of vested in the whole entire from beginning to end type of deal. And that's what makes you so successful with the investors and the company. Yeah, it's, it's really crucial when I'm, when I'm speaking to folks and, and, you know, people are saying, well, should I, how should I go about buying rental properties? You know, I, I tell them, listen, you got to work with somebody that, you know, the person who's selling you the house needs to be the person who's collecting the rent. And when you're talking to that person and interviewing that potential, you know, company you're buying from, the thing that they need to be really great is, is the management side, you know, and they need right. to be really great specifically at keep, keeping residents in your homes long term. You know, so like when I was saying, you know, goals might not be aligned, normal property management company saying, how many year leases do, you know, how, typically it's a 12 month lease, right? A one year lease. It right? is. Yes, sir. Why do you think they do that? I don't know. It's a good question. <laughs> I never thought about it. You know, so like as an owner of rental properties, the way you're going to be successful is when you have a tenant, I call them residents, but if you have a tenant mm -hmm. that stays three years, four years, five years, right? If you have a tenant that leaves every year, are you going to hit your rate of return? No. no. Not you're going to you're gonna get eaten up in maintenance costs and vacancy costs, you know? Yep. So, and, but the whole property management model has been based on people, you know, property managers filling the homes with one year lease tenants. And it, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense, right? Right. You know, we run our numbers. We know that we have to keep, uh, residents in your home for at least three years to hit your returns. Right. So, you know, the, the whole model, a lot of property management companies have never actually owned rental properties themselves. And I think at the core of it, that's why they don't always make the best long-term decisions for owners. Um, right. Because you got to feel the pain of a turnover <laughs> to, yeah. to be experienced, to, you know, to, to, to serve clients the best. You know what I mean? And those leases, those long-term two, three-year leases, the tenant stays with the same amount of rent throughout the lease, correct? Actually, no. Oh, we, okay. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. You know, a lot of, again, you know, sometimes when I'm, when I'm talking to folks, they'll say, oh, wow, you know, I heard from my property manager that, you know, long-term leases wouldn't be a good thing. 
And they, and I say, why? And they say, well, because, you know, you're keeping the rent the same for, for all three years that you signed the lease. And my first answer is that's crazy <laughs> because even if you're keeping the rent the same, like if you have felt the pain of what it really costs between maintenance costs, between uh, principal and interest and taxes and insurance payments, uh, and then, you know, lost rent for a turnover, if you felt that pain, like you don't want to experience that pain, even right. if you don't, even if you don't increase rent, right? If you've got a right. good resident and you keep them in there for three years, four years, five years, like I would love to keep the rent the same. I, I would right. be a happy camper, right? <laughs> and, and my, you know, your returns or my returns, I would hit my returns if I kept them in there for, for three years. Um, so that's the first thing that they say. And I say that they're crazy. You should, you should be happy even if they're the same. Um, but then, um, we actually do get rent escalation. So the way that okay. we do it, the last year of the lease, uh, we only signed two and three year leases, but the last year of the lease, we increased the rent 50 bucks. Okay. So there's an incentive for somebody to sign a three year lease because the first two years of the lease, it's the same. Right. Um, and then the third year where we get that rent escalation, which is great for, for you as an owner. Um, mm. it's also a, a good thing for the resident. I, and my team was sharing this with me, the mentality of why this, this is actually a good thing for the resident. And it, it surprised me, but, um, you know, they're like, listen, Greg, rents are going up so much. And so what a lot of residents are facing when they're in apartments is, uh, you know, uncertainty, like mm -hmm. not knowing every year what that apartment is going to do to increase the rent, you know, and they might be hit with a $150 rent increase or a 300 who knows right yes and, and and so for a lot of residents that creates uncertainty and so the the simple fact of knowing three years from now your rent is going to go up fifty dollars creates that certainty in an environment where most most residents don't have it so um a win a win across the board yeah i think so because i mean i used to rent when i was living in new york and that was the thing after my year was up i was always worried about how much is it going to increase this time Absolutely. I, I think that's one of the biggest reasons why there's so much turnover in the leases, especially the short term ones. You get hit with that 100, 150 bucks. You're like, well, I could go down the road yeah. and then sign a, you know, a nice deal. And well, why stay here? And it, you know, and, so. the, and it doesn't have to be that way. Like right. for me and you as owners of rental properties, all we want is we want a return on investment. We want to treat somebody well, give them a great place to live. And we can have all those things <laughs> if we sign long term leases. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, it's just. It's, it's, it's surprising to me that more people don't do it this way. But at the end of the day, you know, property management is, is an old model. People are afraid to change. It's a lot more work for a property manager to sign long-term leases. Mm -hmm. um, so they don't want to do it that way. And then they would make less money, too, because they would be able to charge less tenant placement fees if, right. they, if they did it that way. So um, I, don't, I don't see it changing too too much uh, or, or too often or too soon on the property management side. But right. More, more of an opportunity for us.